Uh, in my last video, I showed you how to build some really exciting projects like a GPS based speedometer and an inversor clock with multiple time zones, uh, both powered by the GP02 GPS module. Uh, the GP02 worked well for those projects. Uh, it gave us speed, UTC time, and basic satellite data. Uh, but it's still a basic GPS only module, which comes with certain limitations. Uh, that's why in this video, we are going to take things to the next level by testing and comparing it with the RYS352A multi GNSS module from Reax. Uh, like GP02, this tiny module doesn't rely on the GPS. It connects to the multiple constellations like GPS, Galones, Galileo, Baidu, and QSIS. Uh, this means it can achieve faster satellite logs, higher accuracy, smoother real time speed updates, and even provide a precise 1 pps signal for clock applications. Uh, and here's the interesting part during the video, I will not only compare the specs and performance of both modules, but I will also show you live connectivity of the RYS352A using a tool called Visual GPS View. Uh, with this software, we can monitor everything in real time latitude, longitude, altitude, satellites in view, signal strength, accuracy parameters like PDOP, SDOP, VDOP, and more. So, by end of this video, you will clearly see why upgrading from a basic GPS like the GP0 to a powerful multi GNSS module like the RYS352 can be completely transformed projects like clocks, speedometers, and professional IoT systems. So let's get into this video. Uh, before we move on, let's talk about the future of electronics design. You already know about Ultium Designer, one of the most powerful tools for PCB design from schematic to layout and manufacturing outputs. Ultium Designer is best. And then there is the Ultium 365, the cloud platform that lets you collaborate in real time. You can share your project securely and manage your version control from anywhere. Uh, now imagine both of these were combined into one seamless experience. That's exactly what Altium Develop brings to you. And apart from this, Altium Develop offers something more, something beyond collaboration. Uh, Altium Develop is a next generation platform designed for multidisciplinary teams. Electrical, Mechanical, Software, Procurement and combines all working together in a single connected environment. No silos, no wasted time, just co-creation without any constraints. Every changes, every decision and every requirement lives in a real time context giving your team the visibility to stay aligned and make your smarter choices. Uh, from PCB design and requirement tracking to supply chain management and manufacturing hands-off, it's all right here. This is especially built for small and mid-side organization. Altium Develop delivers enterprise-level collaboration without any overhead. Uh, this is not just a collaboration, it's a true co-creation and it's a faster, clearer and built for the way in the model teams work. And here is the best part, Altium Develop is available for free 30 day trial. Uh, check the link in the description and start creating without any limitation with Altium Develop. Now let's back to our main video. Uh, this RYS 352A GNSS module comes from the React technology, a company well known for making reliable and innovative communication modules. And it's not just GNSS, React also offer a wide range of modules like NFC, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LoRa, Ultra Wideband, ISM RF and many other wireless solutions. So whether you are building IoT projects, smart devices or advanced communication system, React has a module for you. Uh, for more information, check the description. Uh, Alright, let's compare GP0 to GPS module and the RYS352 GNSS module side by side. Uh, first, when it comes to the satellite support, the GP02 is a basic GPS receiver. Uh, it mainly works with the GPS constellation and sometimes supports Galonis depending on the version. Uh, on the other hand, the RYS352A is a true multi-GNSS module. It can communicate not only with the GPS but also with the Galonis, Galileo, Baidu, Quizzes and even supports SBS systems like VAS and Gagan. Uh, that means it can see more satellite at once, uh, giving you faster logs and more reliable performance worldwide. Uh, next, let's talk about the update rates and channels. The GP02 typically updates at 1 Hz, which means you will get one position update per second. Uh, good enough for basic projects like clocks. Uh, some version can go up to 5 Hz, but not always. Uh, on the other hand, the RYS352A supports up to 10 Hz update rate, uh, making it perfect for real time applications like speedometers, navigation system, and drones where smooth data is critical. Uh, now let's talk about the accuracy and sensitivity. The GP02 has typical accuracy of about 2.5 meters and the tracking sensitivity is around minus 60 dBm. The RYS352A improves the significantly with an accuracy of about 1.5 meters and a much better sensitivity of minus 160 dBm, which means it can hold a signal even in weak environments like indoors, cities or under trees. 
Uh, if you talk about the startup times, the ZP02 takes around 30 seconds for a cold start and a few seconds for a hot start. In RYS 352A, uh, thanks to its AGNSS and EPO support, can get a fix in as little as 5 to 12 seconds cold and 1 second for hot start. So as soon as you power it up, it is ready to give you data in a much faster way. Uh, another big difference is the 1 PPS timing output. The ZP02 doesn't always provide a stable PPS pin. The RYS 352A on the other hand has a dedicated 1 pulse per second output with 10 nanoseconds precision. This is a huge deal if you are making a universal clock or any other system that needs very accurate and time synchronization. Uh, in terms of power consumption, both are quite similar, consuming around 30 to 33 milliampere in tracking mode. But the RYS 352A has an ultra low power backup mode with just 12 microamps, which helps keep the RTC running efficiently. So to sum it up, the ZP02 is a simple, affordable and great for hobby projects like the GPS speedometer and universal clock that I showed you earlier. But the RYS352 is on another level. It's a compact, support multiple constellations, gives you faster fixes, smoother upgrades, higher accuracy and precise timing. If you are serious about building advanced and professional projects, the RYS352 is definitely the better choice. So this is our RYS 352A GNSS module which is very small in size uh, we will get a TXD LED and PPS LED uh, which means if this uh, module start uh, transmitting data this LED will start blinking and this LED is for PPS and in the back side we got the RTC which is used for uh, storing the date and time that is the satellite data and here we get the option for connecting uh, female or male header you can connect anyone and apart from this we also have option for GST connector so you can connect GST connector to connect with your microcontroller or any USB to UART module so I am going to connect this GST connector now this red wire is a VCC and black one is ground and this green wire is transmitter pin that is TXD pin so now we need a USB to UART module uh, by using we can connect to our computer and we can use the satellite data in the tool that is GPS view tool. So you can use any USB to UART uh, converter module. Here I am using this USB to TTL converter and make sure it is 3.3 volt module because this GNSS module is work on 3.3 volt logic level. So let me connect it. Uh, the red wire goes on the 3.3 volt and the green wire goes on the ground and this green wire will connect to the RX uh, now let's connect to our computer and then we will download the GPS view tool and we can uh, monitor the G uh, satellite data on the tool so let's download the tool and see further now open this link to download the GPS view tool uh, you will find the link in the description uh, now scroll down and click on the free download button to get the tool uh, click on it then click agree to accept the term and conditions uh, it will take a few seconds to download uh, once downloaded, install the tool on your computer. Uh, I have already installed on my system, so I'll just open the app directly. Uh, now connect the GNSS module to your computer. Then go to Tools, connect to GPS. Uh, here you need to select the COM port where your module is connected and set the baud rate to 115200. And after that, click on OK. Uh, at this point, the tool will start searching for satellites. Uh, since this is a cold start, uh, meaning the module is connecting to satellites for the very first time with no previously stored data. Uh, it will take a few seconds to establish a fix. Ten seconds later. Uh, as you can see, it's now connected to satellites and we have started receiving data. Uh, right now, it is tracking a total of 7 satellites uh, while 17 satellites are in the view. Uh, here I can see the latitude, longitude, altitude, PDOP, HDOP and VDOP values. Uh, we can also identify which satellites are from GPS and which are from the Galones. Uh, currently, the module is connected only with these two constellations. But if it is connected with more, they will appear here. Uh, these sections allow us to monitor the position of satellites along with their direction. Uh, and apart from that, we also have a scatter plot, which is used to show how well the satellite data matches the ground truth and another data set by comparing them point by point. Uh, then we have the position plot which is used to visualize the satellite position and check the accuracy of the location data. Uh, finally, there is the NMEA monitor section uh, where we can view the raw GPS data like latitude, longitude, time, satellite information directly from the receiver.
So before we wrap up, let's quickly talk about the applications of this GNSS module. Uh, because it supports multiple satellite systems with high accuracy and fast updates, uh, it can be used in GPS speedometer, inversal clocks, drones, vehicle tracking systems, and personal navigation devices. Uh, its precise timing feature makes it perfect for synchronizing IoT devices, communication networks, and smart city infrastructures. And thanks to its small size and low power consumption, it also fits perfectly into wearable devices, handheld trackers, asset monitoring, fleet management, and even robotics. Uh, in short, the RYS352A isn't just for hobby projects, it's a professional grade module that opens up endless possibilities. And that's it for today's video. We compare the ZP02 with the advanced RYS352A GNSS module from Reax Technology and so how it offers faster locks, higher accuracy, and real time monitoring through the visual GPS view. Uh, if you enjoyed this project, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more electronics and IoT content. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day.